The Maravedi Spanish pronunciation, Ma Beta Ei, was the name of various Iberian coins of gold and then silver between the 11th and 14th centuries and the name of different Iberian accounting units between the 11th and 19th centuries. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word Maravedi comes from Marabet or Maraboten, a variety of the gold dinar struck in Spain by, and named after, the Moorish Almoravids Arabic Almrabtown Almorabidin, saying, Marapt Murat. The Spanish word Maravedi is unusual in having three documented plural forms, Maravedis, Maravedis and Maravedises. The first one is the most straightforward, the second is a variant plural formation found commonly in words ending with a stressed I, whereas the third is the most unusual and the least recommended Real Academia Española's Diccionario Panhispanico de Dudas labels it, "...vulgar in appearance". History The gold dinar was first struck in Spain under Abd ar Rahman III, Emir of Cordoba. During the 11th century, the dinar became known as the murat, moraboten, or morabatino throughout Europe. In the 12th century, it was copied by the Christian rulers Ferdinand II of Leon and Alfonso VIII of Castile as the Maravedi. Alfonso's gold Maraboten or Maravedi retained inscriptions in Arabic but had the letters Alf at the bottom. It weighed about 3.8 grams. In Castile, the Maravedi de Oro soon became the accounting unit for gold, alongside the sueldo from solidus for silver and the dinero from denarius for bilin velin in Spanish. The gold content of the Maravedi fell to a gram during the reign of James I of Aragon (1213–1276), and it kept falling, eventually becoming a silver coin under Alfonso X of Castile (1252–1284). By this time, the word Maravedi was being used for a specific coin officially, for any coin colloquially, and as a synonym for money itself, resulting in a certain confusion in interpreting 13th-century references to money, values, and coinage. Alfonso X, for example, made three issues of vellon, in each of which the new coin was called a Maravedi. His basic silver coin of 1258–1271 was also called a Maravedi, Maravedi de Plata. It weighed 6.00 grams and contained 3.67 grams of fine silver. It was worth 30 dineros. At that time, the money of account was the Maravedi of 15 sueldos or 180 dineros, so that one Maravedi as an accounting unit was worth six silver Maravedi coins. The silver Maravedi money of account represented, according to one interpretation, about 22 grams of silver in 1258. This had fallen to 11 grams by 1271, to 3 grams by 1286, and to 1.91 grams in 1303. The gold Maravedi had disappeared as a money of account by 1300. The Maravedi de Plata silver Maravedi gradually came to be used as money of account for larger sums, for the value of gold coins, and for the mint price of silver, and eventually it supplanted the sueldo as the main accounting unit. Alfonso XI did not call any of his coins a Maravedi, and henceforth the term was used only as a unit of account and not as the name of a coin. In 1537 it became the smallest Spanish unit of account, the 34th part of a real. In the New World, nonetheless, there are documents which testify to the reduction of their value to less than the 30th part of a real. This reduction was on account of the cost and risk of their transportation from Spain, before the establishment of the first mint houses of Mexico and Santo Domingo. The Maravedi remained a money of account in Spain until 1847, after the invasion of the Americas. Copper Maravedis, along with silver reals, were the first coins struck in Spain for the purpose of circulation in the New World colonies. These coins, minted with a special design for specific use of the Americas, were first coined in Seville in 1505 for shipment to the colonial island of Hispaniola the following year, thus giving these coins their distinction as the first coins for the New World. By 1531 these coins were still being minted, by now in both Seville and Burgos. These Maravedis were used as Spanish colonial change for smaller transactions and after mints were later established in the New World, in both Mexico ordered in 1535, production began in 1536 and Santo Domingo ordered in 1536, production began in 1542, coins of this type were also minted there. <laughs> 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 
Topic See also Coronado Topic Rare References Frey, Albert R. 1916. A Dictionary of Numismatic Names, Their Official and Popular Designations. American Journal of Numismatics, I. 143. Proctor, Jorge A. October 2001. America's First Official Coinage. The Numismatist, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Sedelet, René Toutes les Monnaies du Monde, Paris, Riquil Syrie, pp. 170–171, 325–326. Sedwick, Daniel January 1995, Practical Book of Cobbs, History, Identification, Shipwrecks, Values, Market, Coin Photos, ISBN 999130101. Shaw, W. A. 1967, 1896, The History of Currency 1251-1894, being an account of the gold and silver monies and monetary standards of Europe and America, together with an examination of the effects of currency and exchange phenomena on commercial and national progress and well-being, New York, G. P. Putnam's Sons, reprinted by Augustus M. Kelly, pp. 319-344, LC 67-20086. Notes <laughs>